Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over the FPAS page or the Flight Performance Advisory System. The FPAS advises the pilot of the altitude and airspeed corresponding to maximum in flight fuel efficiency based on the current operating conditions. Basically, this is a flight planning tool you can use to figure out your optimum altitude and endurance. I use this a lot online, especially on servers where the strike package is more than 100 miles away. I want to make sure I have enough fuel and enough fuel to provide a little bit of cap after I release my bombs or what have you. So to get into the FPAS page, what we need to do is go to the support page, which is right here, SUPT, and then we'll click on FPAS. And here's the FPAS page on the DDI. You can do this on any DDI. Right now we have it on the right DDI. So our current range is at the top half, and our optimum range is at the bottom half. So we'll go over the top half first. So at our current altitude and airspeed, we're currently at Mach 82 at Angels uh, 29. So our current range at that Mach and altitude is 684 miles. These numbers are all dynamic, so they're always changing. Depending on temperature, winds, power adjustments, altitude adjustments, what have you. So our current range is 681 miles, roughly. Our best Mach the 2,000 pounds would be Mach 77, and that would give us 750 miles at our current altitude, which is Angels 29. So if we slow to Mach 77, we would get some extra uh, range. So our endurance is currently an hour and five minutes at Mach 82 in Angels uh, 29. Our best Mach though would be Mach 62, and to get to 2,000 pounds we would have an hour and 46 minutes of fuel. So we'll go down to the waypoint here. So nav two, this can be either waypoints or tack hands. So if you want to use the tack hand for the carrier, you could put the tack hand in right here via the HSI if you select tack hand. But right now we're going to waypoint two. So we'll get to waypoint two at 1428 Zulu and we'll have roughly 11,000 pounds of fuel remaining. And we're burning 13 pounds a nautical mile. So every nautical mile we're burning 13 pounds of fuel. So that covers the current range. This is all to 2,000 pounds. So we'll go to optimum range, which is the bottom half. So our optimum range, we would need to be at roughly Angels 35. We'll get that number right here. Our optimum range Mach number is Mach 82, and we get 788 nautical miles. So comparing this to our current range at Angels 29, we would almost get 100 in almost 20 nautical miles of extra range if we went up to Angels 35 to get to 2,000 pounds. But if we want to do an endurance, we would go up to Angels 27, or actually we would go down to Angels 27 at Mach 61, and to 2,000 pounds it would give us an hour and 38 minutes. So sometimes the numbers contradict themselves. We're currently at uh, like I said, Angel's 29 and our endurance at Mach 6.1 would give us an hour and 44 minutes. But I would actually stay up here and slow to Mach 6.1 if I want to set up a bar cap or something like that where I need to be on station for an extended period of time. So the other thing to talk about is this number to 2,000 pounds will actually change to zero if you go below 2,500 pounds of total fuel. So if you drop below 2,500 pounds of total fuel, this number will actually change to zero. So it gives you to a zero. So the next thing we want to talk about is the home button or home fuel. So we're actually heading to a carrier and our waypoint four is the carrier. Also waypoint zero is your starting location. So if you start at an airbase or what have you, and you're going to go back to that airbase, you can make it waypoint zero. But for this mission I have, I'm going to a carrier. I'm going to set waypoint four, which is the carrier. This we're going to demonstrate the climb performance. We'll bring up the F-Pass on the DDI here, and we'll select climb. And as you can see up here on the HUD, it gives us our best speed to climb at. That's going to be at max performance. So it's a max performance climb. So that includes afterburner. What we'll do here is we'll take off 
and we'll do a max performance climb to our optimum altitude, which is 36,000 feet. And remember, this is dynamic, so it might change. We'll go ahead and take off here. Right, so we're still in max burner. We're not really following any procedures here. We're just demonstrating here. I'm looking for 487 knots to climb at. We're using our pitch here. We'll pitch the nose over just a little bit more so we can get some more airspeed here. As we're starting to approach 482 knots, we're going to start pitching up. Here we go. Pitching up to maintain that speed. Just guess it's got to be in the ballpark. We're watching the number on the HUD. Our airspeed is 483. Our target airspeed is 455 and descending as we're climbing up. We're using pitch. We'll keep pitching up here. Here we go. So we're roughly in the ballpark and we're looking for 30, almost 30 angels, 37 now. You see these two numbers are pretty much the same. They're in the same area and I'm using pitch. So I'm still in max burn, but I'm using pitch to control my speed. It may look like we're getting slow, but we're currently at Mach 8.8. 8, so we're pretty fast actually. Coming through angels 30 already. Looking for Angels 37, as you can tell, I told you it was dynamic. It was at 36,000 when we took off, and it's almost up at Angels 37. Keeping these two numbers pretty much similar. Lower on the nose just a little bit here. Get a little more airspeed on the nose. 36 for 37, so we'll go ahead and start leveling off here. Coming out of gates. And it wants us to do Mach 8.4, so we'll bring the power back just a little bit. And we'll turn on the autopilot. There's Mach 8.4. Turn on auto, auto throttle. Maintain Mach 8.4. See it says ATC right here. So that was a max performance climb using the climb mode right here. So I can turn that off so it takes it away from the hood. But uh, as you can see, optimum range, Angel's 37. Mach 8.4, 2,000 pounds, we can go 1,186 miles. And if we want to do an endurance run, we can go down to Angel's 30 and a half and do Mach 6.7 to get two hours and 29 minutes of play time. So this covers the F-18 F-Pass page. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Make sure you come back for more and happy hunting.